guys, it's Sam and I am going to be doing a get ready with me slash first impressions video on the IT Cosmetics and Tarte makeup products that I got um, that I showed in my last haul video. But just in case you missed it, I got the QVC IT Cosmetics It's Your Bye Bye Breakthroughs 5 piece collection. And so you got the Bye Bye Makeup Remover, which I'm not going to show you in this video, but I have used it once and I really like it and it smells really good. Uh, the Bye Bye uh, Line Serum, which I'm also not going to be using because I I am gonna, I plan to take my makeup off right after this and I don't want to use it, but I've only used it a couple times, can't tell you too much about it. Uh, the Bye Bye Under Eyes Illumination Concealer, which I will be using, and then the Bye Bye Pores Illumination Powder, which I will also be using, and the powder brush right here. And then the Tarte stuff, the only product that I'm not going to be using is the mascara just because I don't want to open up. I have so many that are open right now that I don't want to open it up. But this is the Maneater Mascara and you got this bag with uh, the the set and the, or the kit. And then this is the dual ended brush which I'll be using. The Maneater Mascara, the Maneater Liner, the Maneater Eyeshadow Palette, and the the foundation and the lip products so I'll be using almost everything just not the skincare stuff really and the Tarte collection was called the seven piece man eater must-haves I believe so both are still available you're not gonna get it for the special price that they were giving it for but I still feel like it would be a really great deal um, I the Tarte just for the brush and the foundation alone, I felt like it was worth it to get together. So let's get started. I already applied primer. I have eye lip primer on and I have some chapstick, which nothing noteworthy. So I'm not going to be going over that. But here is the brush. So you get the brush and you get the foundation and I got light medium. I'm always confused whether to get light because I am pretty pale, but I also feel like I have a little bit of color, so light medium, I felt like if I get a little bit of tan, if it's too dark, it should be okay. And I've always wanted this foundation. It's, was, it's just been something that I've always wanted to try, so I'm so glad that I was able to get several other products at the same time. And they say to use it with this brush. I haven't, the first time I used it, I used it with a beauty blender, uh, but I'm going to use it with this brush brush and that is how it looks on my hand I'm gonna just do one side of my face first so you guys could kind of see what it looks like and I like I feel like I should get a lot more okay so let's see oh yeah no this brush works pretty well for some reason I thought it was gonna be too fluffy but it works pretty good But I think this brush would work better for powder, I feel like. I just This is a really great brush. So I love the brush. And here is the cover. So you can tell from this side to this side. Uh, this side. This, I wasn't sure if I was saying eye or side. This eye. Um, it didn't cover all of my dark circles. But it covered a lot of it. Uh, you could still see some hyperpigmentation issues that I have but I do like the way that this feels and I'm gonna finish the other side okay so I did the whole oh I've got to mute the TV <laughs> I put the foundation all over my face and I feel like it's medium coverage it says medium to full but I definitely think it's just medium and you could build it up uh, but you could see my on this side I have more hyperpigmentation issues than this side so but I do like the way that um, it's it looks like makeup but not like too much makeup wait no <laughs> it looks like obviously that I have makeup on but it's not cakey or anything I really like the finish of this so um, next I am going to apply the bye bye under eye illumination full coverage anti-aging waterproof concealer and this one is in the color medium. I used it and then I put it back in the box for some reason. So you only need a very little bit and I think I'm gonna apply this with my fingers. 
and I'll do the one side and then I'll do the other side. This is pretty thick. The foundation, it looks thick, but then it's very easy to blend. This one is pretty thick, so I'm trying to see if this will zoom in a little bit. No, does it? Let's see. Okay, yeah, you can see how thick that is, so I'll do it on this side. And you could also use this for highlighting, so I'll do that too because I have a little too much there. But this gives really great coverage. Wow. And you could probably, I could probably just use this as my sort of concealer and foundation, uh, like spot concealing, and then the powder. And I'll be good, but I wanted to show you the the found the Tarte foundation. And I that foundation has just been on my list. And when I saw that QVC was having that amazing deal, I was like, I have to get it. Sephora sells that brush and foundation by itself, and they're both at least thirty dollars. So. As you can see from this side to that side, what a difference. So I'll be back blending the rest of my face and we'll go on to the next step. Okay, so I blended everything. Uh, I blended the concealer and I used this brush actually, which I, if you want me to do a review on it, I will. But this is the Cuvange brushes from Amazon and they're just amazing brushes. Um, sorry, I was trying to zoom in to see if it would... I don't know, sometimes this care. oh there it goes. So I got this from Amazon just on a whim and I love it. So look, it's about 10 to 12 brushes. Uh, but I blended that out and I probably could have used a tar brush. I don't know why I did it. Because it's Sam and this is my crazy video. Uh, I feel like that concealer, even though it's medium, oh it's light medium. So what did I get the foundation, what did I get the tart in? Let me see if it says it on here. It doesn't say the color on this, but oh, light medium honey. So I feel like this says light medium, but it's really light. Um, I feel like if you were a true medium foundation, this would be really, really light. But it blends in really nicely. It gives me a highlighted effect under the eye, and I really love this coverage. It's pretty, pretty great. So I love that, and I, it's the same one for the, I had gotten another QVC It Cosmetics set. Uh, or kit and this is just a regular Bobbit under eye and that works really good too. It's just really great coverage and you could probably just wear that in a powder by itself. So next is, you know what, I don't, oh the powder for the face, yes I have that. Uh, so this is the Bye Bye Pores Illumination Poreless Finish Airbrush Press Powder. Again, why did I put this in a box? I don't know. Okay, so it looks like this, and there is a bit of a sheen to it, but it's not anything that translates into, like, you're going to wear a highlighter on your face. So I'm going to take the brush, and you know these brushes are amazing. This is the Heavenly Skin Bye Bye Pores. This brush is so soft, so I'm going to put some into there, and they recommend just twirling it, twirling it, swirling it around buffing it to your skin and I'll just do this one side I have to remember to do that the one side and so I could tell a difference between this side and this side hopefully you can too I just um, I would have liked a little bit more coverage but this gives a really nice finish to the skin so I'm gonna do the other side dog hair everywhere I have to brush Ava again because it was just getting out of control. Okay, so love this brush. You could even use it, as you can tell, I used it for other things. I'm going to use it for uh, the bronzer and blush because I just feel like I'll show you it could do a lot more than uh, just what they give you for. Um, and this is the e.l.f. contour palette. That's just the palette that I'm using now. Gives you four colors. And I'm going to do a haul video where I got the deep bronze. Uh, where it looks like this, but it's just all four bronzers. And I'm going to take the deepest color there. And just see this. Even though it's big, it fits into the hollows of the cheek. 
It's so soft. And it blends things out so nicely. Uh, you don't hardly have to work at all. Okay, and then for blush, which I'm going to use this brush again. Um, I've been using the Milani powder brush, the one with the rose on there. This is Romantic Rose. Love that color. I use it every day. And then, and that brush is amazing. Love it. Uh, for highlighter, I'm going to take from that Cuvange. Uh, I've just been using my MAC Mineralize 6 Skin Finish in by Candlelight. Looks like this. Oh, I bet you I could use, let's see if I could use, you know what? I'll pull out the Man Eater palette. They have this color called Lace right here. It's an eyeshadow, but I'm going to see if I could use that as a highlight. Oh yeah, you could. Look at that. That's really pretty, actually. In a pinch, you could use that. Okay, there you go. And then, I'm going to quickly do my eyebrows and I'll be back. Okay, so I did my eyebrows and now I'm going to go into this palette and I'll go over the colors really quickly uh, so this is let's see that's meow lace passion foxy purr saucy hypnotic and midnight and I'm not gonna use all of these colors uh, I'm gonna take this side of the brush and go into um, the color that kind of matches my eyelid color and just put that all over I haven't used a C-shaped brush in a really long time. And then I'm going to take this brush and dip it into the same highlighter. And I'm going to put that in the inner corner. I don't exactly know what I'm looking for. I'm going for, but I kind of know what color. And I'm going to use this, uh, this kind of burgundy hypnotic color right there. And I'll use this side of the brush. And her brushes are really nice. There's, sometimes you get these brushes and they're like not that great, but this one is. So I'm just going to start at the outer corner and bring her in. That's really pretty. And then do the other side. And for some reason, whenever I do this side, it just doesn't blend the same as the as that side. This side is so much easier to blend. I have no idea. My eye is weird. And then I'm going to wipe that off a little bit and go into the darker color right there and just do a little bit at the outer corner. Kind of just want to see how intense that brown is. And just create a baby outer V just a little bit so I've actually had tart um, tart eyeshadows before one I've sold uh, just because it was all shimmer but this is a nice mix of shimmer and matte And then you could even use the other side to, let's say, blend. Because this side looks a little bit darker than that side. I don't know what it is. Uh, and then I'm going to take this side of the brush and just go into mix the white and the color that looks like mine. Those two. The color that looks like mine, none of my eyes look like those. Uh, the skin color one. And I'm going to put that right here. These are really pigmented, I feel like, and they blend nicely too, so that's really nice. Okay, and I'm just going to go back and forth, and, and 
and then use the other side to blend out and clean up a little bit. So love these. I am going to apply. This is the eyeliner, and what's cool about this is when you turn it, they they tell you to turn it on here. Uh, when you turn it, it makes it sharp again. So that's really cool. And I'm just gonna, you know what? I'm gonna have to do this off camera because the way my whole setup is is not very good. But it's it glides out really nicely. So I will be back after I do both eyes. Okay, so I did both my eyes and I just did a slightly out but not too much and it's creamy but I have used this once before the eyeliner and I know that it doesn't, it transfers a little bit on top so I have to set it with a lot of powder and so I wouldn't get this again but it was nice to try and I haven't really used it as like a base, sometimes I do that with eyeliners that transfer um, so this is really creamy and nice but it's just it transfers on me because I have super oily lids. That's something else too. Uh, but the eyeshadows are amazing. I love this. Uh, uh, like I was saying, I have had other Tarte products. Uh, I've tried the Tarte's Camera Lashes. That's amazing as well. I kind of wish I used the mascara in this set, but I kind of want to save it. And uh, the eyeshadows are amazing. But this, I love this configuration. I feel like this is really also travel friendly. Um, just and you could always use that as a highlight if you needed to I really like it as a highlight um, but yeah I just love these eyeshadows these blended really nicely and I feel like these are really pretty colors and then the last thing I want to do is the lip product and so this is the Tarte lip sculptor lipstick and lip gloss in kind so you get the lipstick which is on this end and it's a really pretty color Kind of like a dirty pink or dirty rose and then the lip gloss and i feel like this lasted for a really long time even though it's not matte and it's not claimed to be long wearing or at least i don't really know much of the claims about it but i feel like this is just a really pretty color so very happy with that and here is the look. Let me just fix my hair a little bit, which, by the way, I have to color it. Um, I strategically did a few things for before the wedding that I have to go to in Florida. Um, I did the baby foot last week, and my feet are crazy right now. They are peeling like nobody's business. And then I'm going to dye my hair uh, a couple of weeks cause, because a couple of weeks before I go. Because when I dye my hair... Um, I use black and it gets like all over my, not my sheets because I, not to get that much into it, but the black dye just seeps everywhere. So um, I have to do it so that when I'm in Florida, I don't stain everything. Okay, so this is the look. And of course, it's not a video complete without some type of hair on my face. But I just, I feel like this is a really polished and easy look to do. Um, I know I had to throw in some products, but that's because I don't have everything yet. And I have to say, I really like, all, all, I really like all the things that I've tried. Almost all the things I've tried from It Cosmetics. I feel like they just stuff is amazing. And the Tarte stuff in this kit, I love it too. So I feel like I made some really good purchases. Um, I love this look. I hope you guys did too. And I'll talk to you soon. Bye.